Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video we will create a new android application in which I'll show you how to use the alert dialog box component inside android. Now before we start with the android application let me show you the screenshot of this app. Now as you can see over here I have this alert dialog box which has been popped up in front of my screen. Now an alert dialog box mainly consists of three components a title a message and you can see it also consists of two buttons now this box which i have it has a title of wait it consists of a very small message do you really want to exit and this alert dialog box also consists of two buttons yes and no now if you click on the yes button then you will basically exit this application and if you click on the no button then this alert dialog box will go away and you will move back to your android app now we will write the android app in such a way that this alert dialog box will only appear when you click on the back button. So without wasting much of the time let's start with the programming. So I'll minimize the screenshot over here. Next as you can see I've already created a new application and I've given it a name of alert dialog box sorry ed underscore alert dialog box. So please create a new app and you can give it any name you want. Now the next thing that I'll do is I'll delete this text called as hello world. I'll take and I'll take a new text view okay I'll change the text appearance for it and in place of this text view I'll write a message called as press the back button okay so whenever the user opens this app he will get a small notification in form of a text view indicating that he has to click on the back button Okay, so as you can see, I've written this message over here. Okay, now, okay, this text view is a little too big, so I'll so I'll change the font size of the text view. Okay. okay, next I'll now as you can see, this text is aligned to the left side, so I'll try to bring this button text in the center. So I'll go in text, and I'll give this gravity. So I'll write Android colon gravity, and I'll make it center horizontal. I'll just check the preview over here. So you can see this button text is coming in the center now. Now once I finish with the XML code, next I'll go in Java. Now inside the Java, since I want to show the alert dialog box only when the back button is pressed. So since this back button is a hardware button, there is a special method for calling this back button over here. So after this onCreate method, I'll declare the method for the back button and the method for using the back button is on back pressed okay so you just need to type on in small b in capital and you'll basically get this method i'll delete the super dot on back pressed stuff after that next i'll declare the alert dialog box over here so i'll write alert dialog dot builder okay and i'll set it equal to new alert dialog okay now please make sure if you're getting this round brackets then you have to delete them first and after the dialog you will write the builder and after the builder you should get this round brackets so guys please keep that thing in mind and inside this and inside this round bracket i'll now write main activity dot this okay indicating that i want to show the alert dialog inside my main activity now I'm getting an error over here and that is because I have not declared the variable for the alert dialog box. So I'll give this a variable name of ad builder. Okay. Now as you can see the error is gone. Now after declaring the alert dialog builder next I'll use the ad builder variable to set the message first. So I'll write ad builder dot set message and inside this message I'll write down Do you really want to exit and I'll put a question mark over here. So this message, so this is a message, okay, which I am setting by using the set message method. After setting the message on the next line, I'll put a dot and I'll write set cancelable. Okay. Now, please make sure over here guys. Now guys, please make sure that this 
set cancelable is actually a continuation of this line itself okay i'm not putting a semicolon so this line using the a builder method has not ended till now okay i'm just continuing on this line over here i'm just writing the set cancelable method on the next few lines so please do not put a semicolon over here otherwise you will get an error so next i'll write set cancelable and in place of the set cancelable i'll write form now guys let me explain you why i have used this set cancelable method now now when the alert dialog box is displayed over here sometimes if you click on any part of the screen like if suppose you click over here or over here so during that time the alert dialog box goes away now when you set the set cancelable to false so during that time even if you press any other part of the screen by mistake the alert dialog box will still stay on the screen now if you want the alert dialog box to exit as soon as you press anywhere on the screen then you need to make the set cancelable to true but i am keeping it to false so that the alert dialog box will only go away when you press on the yes or no button now after setting the set cancelable to false next i'll declare the two buttons that is yes and no so for that on a new line i'll write down set positive button and i'll select this first method over here now inside this set positive button method you need to declare two parameters so the first parameter is the text that you want to display in your button and the second parameter is the on click listener so after the comma i'll write down okay this should be small new so this should be new dialog interface dot on click listener now please make sure guys you have to choose this second method over here which says on click listener and you can see it has an extension of dialog interface so please choose the second method okay now as you can see the entire method has been shown over here that is new dialog interface dot on click listener so guys when the user clicks on the positive button that is the yes button i want to exit the app so to exit the app i will use or you know i will write finish okay now after setting the positive button i need to set a negative button as well that is what should happen when the user clicks on the no button so after this round bracket on the next line i'll again put a dot and this time i will use a method which says set negative button now for this negative button i'll use a text no and as we did last time for this negative button as well i'll for this negative button i'll also set an on click listener so i will write new dialog okay now this time i'll choose the first method which is saying on click listener now when the user clicks on so when the user clicks on the no button since i want to remain inside the app so for that i'll write down dialog dot cancel so when you click on the no button the android app will basically cancel your dialog box now as you can see i have declared the set message i have declared the positive button and the negative button now the only thing that's remaining is the title so after this i'll again put a dot and i'll write down set title and in place of title i'll write down okay so i've just written wait over here and once everything is done i'll put a semicolon over here i'll again use okay i'll again use oh it's ad builder sorry i'll again use the ad builder method and at the last to show the alert dialog box i'll use a method which says show so guys i basically finished with the android app the next thing that i'll do is i'll click on the play button and let's check the output so guys as you can see the ad underscore alert dialog box application is loaded over here and it basically shows me a text view saying press the back button and this time if i click on the back button you can see an alert dialog box has been shown to me right now okay if this thing is not visible i'll just zoom this up now if i zoom in you can see i have this alert dialog box with a title of wait it has a message do you really want to exit and next i have two buttons yes or no now this time if i click on the no button you can see i'm again moved back to the application and if i again click on this back button and this time if i click on the yes button you can see that the android application which was opened is closed now so guys that's it from this video if you like this video then please feel free to like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you guys and i'll catch you in the next video